entirely new system and need a new era of pilot to, to learn and manage it. The sole purpose why I asked to come uh, to this detachment was to, to fly it. Looks a lot like the aircraft and it's big. They'll be able to go up there and remove all the components and torque all the components just like the aircraft. Therefore, when they get out to the aircraft, the remove and install task will be quicker and it will allow them to know how to do it without second guessing themselves. So the benefit to a trainer like this is to create an environment that's somewhat realistic to a real aircraft but has safety in mind. It's like for instance, blade. This blade is a lot smaller than a rear aircraft blade, but it weighs the same. So they can get used to handling the weight when they remove and reinstall it. And so by being able to train in a simulated environment and learning the aircraft, rather than being thrown at it, you get the experience and the knowledge so that when you're in the field working, you have very little mistakes. Because when you hear one of these big bad boys coming for you in the field to rescue you, you know you're in good hands. the simulator, there's nothing that we cannot program it to do that we would not find in real life. Anytime you can uh, take the controlled environment and uh, put it into one that is controlled but chaotic, where you know you're not going to break an aircraft or hurt a person, is definitely a, a learning opportunity. What we realized is that this simulator here is as close to the aircraft as any flight simulator I've seen before. So it can very accurately represent the way the aircraft is going to feel, the way the aircraft is going to fly. I say any any competent helicopter pilot that uh, has been around for a while can easily transition to the controls and management system, uh, especially using all the current 21st century technology. It's very simple to use for a smartphone user in that cockpit. What we've seen so far with most pilots, after conducting a reasonable amount of training in the simulator, they walk out to the actual aircraft and they fly it as if they've been flying it. Uh, for, for a year already. I, I really believe it's going to be a, a big step going forward for Marines in the field and providing them with the assault support and the heavy lift they need to do their job.